Do you know the hidden secret behind the shape of Sanemi's sword handle? Or the sad truth behind Gyu's haori? Here are 25 of the saddest facts you probably didn't know about the Hashiras. Believe me, some of them will make you cry. Do you know there's a reason why Sanemi doesn't like Tanjiro? Turns out, Tanjiro actually reminds him of his best friend, Masachika, who died protecting him during their battle against the former Lower Moon 1, Ubume. It's even said that Masachika would have been the wind Hashira instead of Sanemi. Next is a heartbreaking fact involving Gyu and Shinobu. Before the Infinity Castle arc, Shinobu revealed her plan to sacrifice herself in order to defeat Doma to the other Hashiras but kept Gyu in the dark, knowing he wouldn't support her decision. When Gyu eventually learned of her death, he was heartbroken. Fans speculate that there may have been hidden feelings between them. In the fan book, Gyome confirmed that they were indeed very close and enjoyed each other's company. Moving on is a sad secret behind Ren Goku yelling, Umai! 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 <laughs> It turns out this was a tradition from ancient Japan, where samurais were taught to savor their food as they never knew when it might be their last meal. This is also why Rengoku remained so calm in his final moments. Speaking of his final moments, did you know that Rengoku's crow, Kaname, cried for a week after his death? That's right, his crow loved him so much that it grieved for an entire week, flying around without eating or drinking, mourning the loss of its beloved master. Another heartbreaking fact about Rengoku is that he was the only one who celebrated Senjuro's birthday with him. After Rengoku's death, Senjuro stopped celebrating birthdays altogether. But that's not all, because after Rengoku left home for the last time, Senjuro kept the house exactly as his brother had left it. This was Senjuro's way of holding on to the bond they shared, preserving every detail of their life together as a way to keep his brother's presence alive even after his tragic death. Now this was just the first level of sad facts, and next, we are going to even more devastating facts. Starting with this sad secret behind the shape of Sanemi's sword handle. If you look closely, you will notice it has 8 sides, each representing the members of his family. His mother, father, Genya, and his 5 other siblings. Speaking of Genya, did you know Sanemi actually loved him? While Genya was dying, Sanemi started confessing and begging him to live. But what makes this fact even more devastating is that Genya had lost his ears during the battle, which means he couldn't hear what Sanemi was was saying and never knew that his brother actually loved him and cared for him, which is just heartbreaking. However, the next fact is even more heartbreaking. Did you know Kagaya's father committed suicide when he was just 19 years old? He did this because he was unable to bear the thought of having his troop members die over and over again, leaving Kagaya as the head of the family at the age of 4. Yeah, that is pretty sad, but it gets even worse. In the Demon Slayer fanbook, it was stated that Kagaya had two younger brothers, Senri, the middle child, and Akito, the youngest. After their father's death, Senri became mentally unstable and often cursed people, including his mother and Kagaya. In the end, Senri took his younger brother with him. And and set the mansion on fire, forcing Akito into a double suicide. Their mother tried to save them but was severely burned and eventually killed. Have you cried yet? If not, you might want to grab some tissues because next, we're diving into some truly heartbreaking facts. Do you know the real reason why Gyu's haori is made of two different fabrics? It turns out, both pieces are from his friend Sabito and sister Tsutako. They both died protecting him, and to honor their memory, Gyu crafted his haori in their likeness. This is also why Gyu struggled to connect with the other Hashiras, as he felt unworthy worthy of his title and often wished he would just die. And while we're on the topic of Haoris, did you catch this secret in episode 25? In this episode, we're introduced to Kanae, the former flower Hashira. If you take a closer look at her Haori, you'll notice it's the exact same one Shinobu wears. And if you look at her hairpin, you'll see that it's now worn by Kanao. They both did this to honor her memory, which is just heartbreaking. But an even more heartbreaking fact involves Obanai and Mitsuri's relationship. As they were dying, they held each other tightly, expressing their deep love in their final moments. Obanai promised that in their next life, he would make her his wife and they could live a peaceful life together, free from the horrors of the world they knew. Mitsuri in her final breath said she was grateful to have met him and that she would always love him. And in the official Demon Slayer fanbook, it was revealed that Obanai's love for Mitsuri was love at first sight. He adored her so much that he learned all the names of her four cats during their first encounter. While Muichiro was the youngest Hashira and could be pretty bratty at times, all the other Hashiras genuinely cared for him. In the fanbook, it's revealed that every Hashira, including Obanai, cared deeply about him. Obanai was constantly praying for Muichiro's safety, feeling he was too young to die after Muichiro's death. Tengen was so heartbroken that he was overwhelmed with guilt and wished he had died instead of Muichiro. Another heartbreaking fact about Muichiro is that after his death, Koketsu styled his hair exactly like Muichiro's to honor his legacy and sacrifice. And while that was pretty sad, it is nothing in front of this next fact. 
After Muichiro's death, his crow, Ginko, cried for weeks, refusing to eat or sleep. She was eventually comforted by Tanjiro's crow, Matsuemon, and the two ended up getting married. But Ginko wasn't the only pet that had it rough, because after Obanai's death, Kaburamaru mourned his death for weeks, refusing to sleep or eat. It even got to the point that Kanao decided to adopt and take care of him even though she was not a huge fan of snakes. While Inosuke has never called Tanjiro by his real name, everything changed during the final battle. As Tanjiro, now a demon, was about to attack. Inosuke for the first time called out to him using his real name and in that intense moment, Inosuke couldn't bring himself to slice Tanjiro's head, revealing just how deeply he cared for his friend. And with that, we are done with the third level of sad facts. And although these facts were pretty sad, you have seen nothing yet, as the sad facts in the final level would make you cry a lot. Starting off with the sad fact about the stone Hashira Gyome always blaming himself for failing to protect the children from the demon that attacked them at the temple during the final battle against Muzan. As Gyome approached death, he saw the children again and they thanked him for everything he had done. The heartbreaking part is that due to his blindness, Gyome didn't even realize he had passed away. But before we go into another devastating fact, if you are having a great time so far and want to be entered in our video shadow giveaway, simply subscribe, then comment I subbed and you'll be entered. This shout out giveaway goes to Norman Lewin. Thanks for being a part of the family. Let's get back to the sad facts. After the grueling final battle against Muzan, Sanemi was so brutally wounded that he was on the brink of death. This brought him a vision where he saw his mother in hell. Despite being destined for heaven, he chose to follow her and even offered to carry her on his back, showing just how deeply he loved his mother. Did you know that Muichiro and Shinobu were the only two Hashiras whose bodies were not buried? The other Hashiras and Demon Slayers were laid to rest in the Kaikoma Mountains. However, since Shinobu's body was absorbed by Doma and Muichiro's body remained in the Infinity Castle, it was impossible to retrieve them for a proper burial. A bittersweet yet sad fact is that after the final battle, Gyu and Sanemi became close friends. They often shared meals and brought gifts for Nezuko together. However, four years later, both of them died due to the effects of the Demon Slayer mark, as anyone who awakens the mark doesn't live past the age of 25. While that was sad, it's not as heartbreaking as Zenitsu's history with women. You see, he once had seven girlfriends, and while they were all beautiful, they never loved Zenitsu. Instead, they brought him nothing but misery, taking advantage of his kindness and leaving him with a debt of over 600,000 yen. To make things worse, they spoke ill of him behind his back, which left Zenitsu heartbroken. But thankfully, he met Nezuko, and the two ended up having a beautiful life together. After the war against Muzang, Inosuke and Nezuko became so close that he began to see Nezuko as a mother figure. She helped him learn many things and cared for him like a little brother. And while that was a pretty wholesome fact, this next fact about Yushiro will make you cry your eyes out. Yushiro was deeply in love with Lady Tamayo. So much that after the war against Muzan ended, he became the only demon left alive. He dedicated the rest of his life to painting portraits of her, knowing she would never return. Despite this, he continued to paint her, determined to keep her memory alive and never forget her. Now that is true love. Speaking of true love, did you know Kagaya's wife, Amane, married him when she was 17 and he was just 13? Before their marriage, Kagaya told her she could call off the wedding if she didn't want to marry him. He even said he would refuse the arrangement himself. Moved by his consideration for her feelings, Amane decided to marry him. And well, we all know how that ended. Now those were some sad facts, but have you ever wondered what would happen if Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke all became Hashiras? Then check out this video! Go on, click it!